Hey everyone, this is uh, Professor Diffley. I'm going to be your professor here for uh, Philosophy 201, Ethics in the Modern World. I want to do this intro video here to uh, show and talk about um, and show you how to use the uh, required text for this course, which you know we are uh, text that I, uh, I I provide to you here in the course. Uh, it's actually in a couple areas. So where are you going to find it? Um, again, you don't need to buy any books. It's open educational resource. Um, it's provided for free. Uh, you don't need to go to the bookstore or anything again. It's right here in the class. It's actually uh, housed in two places, course information and course content. And I'll post this video in both places as well. Um, right here, you can see it. It's a required textbook. Uh, you can actually see there's two of them. This is the PDF version. Uh, this is the uh, Microsoft Word doc uh, version, which is the one I recommend. Um, and you'll also see you actually can get free Microsoft access with with your stick uh, uh, accounts, email accounts, so you don't actually have to uh, buy anything. Um, you don't need to buy Microsoft Office or anything, but uh, go through this folder. It'll explain how to do it, all of that, uh, and you can get it to be able to access. So back to the textbook. So again, it is uh, the required book. It's an OER text, uh, and here's the Word doc. And this actually, long, I want to show you how to use uh, because of the way I formatted it. It's going to make it easier for you to uh, navigate the book. So to download it, most of you know, all you got to do is just click on the tip, right? Just click on it and it will give you the option to download it. And here I'm going to uh, download it there. Um, I already have it open. Uh, let me just show you that. So this is uh, the text Applied Ethics in the Modern World. It's uh, an OER, OER source that I uh, remixed, uh, which just means in OER speak, it's just I took um, some other existing books, uh, edited down parts uh, for our needs here. So uh, I took it from a uh, another book uh, from the UK <clears throat> on ethics uh, and applied ethics, which is what this course is about, right? Applied ethics is just applying the ethics uh, to uh, a real world modern questions. And that's what this uh, book does. So you see there's a contents page here um, and a couple pages and this will tell you where everything is and so that's always obviously the best way to find where something is a textbook however the way I formatted this is it makes it easier to click through and find to where you want to go so the way you do this when you're in uh, Microsoft Word like this you go to view or anything else you go to view and then click on this box here navigation pane and this opens it up here. You can see the contents of the textbook all broken up. So each chapter and all that, but it even goes more uh, if you click on it, right? So here it goes to all the headings and you can jump uh, just by clicking here. You can jump to different sections within each, uh, within each chapter. It's going to be really useful. Uh, one, right, if you start reading it, you don't uh, you know finish the whole chapter in, in one sitting, which is hard to do. Most people don't. Uh, you, know, you, you read a little bit, come back to it, that sort of thing. Um, or, you know, when you're going to review some, so say you have a question on hedonistic uh, uh, calculus, uh, you can just jump right there to it uh, by going through the chapter, right? You can expand these and it has it for all of them, um, right? So, and then we'll go to uh, wherever I have headings, wherever I have set up headings in the text, you can jump right to it. Um, and that is really one of the best ways to uh, really navigate this. So you see there's eight chapters here. Um, the way the book is broken up is, <clears throat> the first few uh, chapters here, first six uh, uh, six chapters, uh, really talk about the uh, ethical schools, uh, ways of looking at the world, ways of looking at ethics. And as you read through them, uh, the the point of this will be to uh, teach you the ethics, right? Teach you the ethical schools, but throughout, it's also then applying them to modern things. So you can see uh, here, there's some of this where it takes some of these ethical schools and then starts to begin uh, begin uh, talking about them. Uh, and talking about the uh, topics. And, and then, you know, the last two here are actual applied ethics uh, here, right? And so these are two of the examples of where we're going to really dive in later to big topics, right? So that I picked ones. Um, the class, if this was a longer class, right, this is a flex term, so we can only fit so much in. Um, in a full semester one, we would do a lot more of uh, chapters on actual topics. Um, but here I picked uh, ones. Uh, uh, one, you know, one of the applied topics uh, here, eating animals. Um, again, this might for many people, because most people are not uh, vegetarians, this doesn't seem like a an ethical question. But as you go through this chapter and you go through it, there are actually some uh, really interesting and intriguing uh, ethical ideas uh, through all this. But as you can see, the way it goes is right. So there's an introduction to this and then it goes through. Uh, and looking at the topic, uh, the question, through all these different uh, uh, schools of thought, uh, and these are the major, major ones, really, utilitarianism, Kant, and virtue ethics. These are the ones we're going to see uh, the most. 
Um, so that's one of them. And then the last one is simulated killing. Um, this one's actually really interesting, I think, from my own. This is all about uh, uh, the ethics of killing in video games and in movies and things like that. And if uh, you're anything like me, you probably uh, played lots of video games. And uh, and so this is actually a really interesting topic to look into. And, uh, you know, our, our, our books, our films, uh, things like that. So these are the types of things where we get into applied ethics. Um, Again, I included two for this text uh, here, uh, you know, to sort of show us how we're going to do this. And then, you know, the final project is write a small paper on any uh, topic of your choosing. And I will provide as we go longer in the class, uh, you know, uh, some topics. You can choose your own. I'll um, also give you a list of ideas to pick from that we could, uh, you know, um, intriguing real world modern day issues. Uh, you know, it could be anything uh, uh, from... Uh, things like simulated killing to, uh, you, you know, uh, using masks in a pandemic, rationing care. Those are some of them. There, there's all sorts of topics uh, to look at. But, okay, so back to the text, though. But you get an idea of how this is broken up. Um, and, uh, we, you know, we'll, we'll be looking at chapters uh, within the modules and that. Um, and each one is broken up into, a, again, really a uh, big major school. Now, the other thing in this text is you're going to see as you go through is uh, not only the writing here, but I also put in um, links and uh, things like that, these hyperlinks to most of them link out to videos. Now, these are almost always to required videos, which you will also see within Blackboard um, in each module. Uh, you know, you, there'll be a module page uh, pages and there'll be a folder for required videos. Um, there's a few for each one. They're usually pretty short, but no, none of them are longer than like 15 minutes ever. Uh, what they really are is a, it's a way to give the information uh, in a different way, right? Often they come from uh, the uh, crash course videos, some of the other, some other um, McCombs uh, School of Ethics, others, things like that. But uh, wherever you see these in here, uh, these are links out to required videos and you should use them there. Um, and you'll see this when we go to utilitarianism, right? So wherever uh, I have links out to these and you do this just by clicking, you know, control and click uh, on a PC to these uh, videos there. And so again, uh, these are meant to supplement. They are required. Um, I do talk about it. They mirror the text. They mirror what's going to be in the lecture slides. They mirror all of that. However, uh, you should really uh, watch these as you go. Now, why did I put them in the uh, text like this? Well, because I think it's really helpful that as you're reading, if you see any of these pop up, uh, watch the video too. I know people learn in different ways. Not everybody just uh, learns best from just reading. Sometimes you need to read it and hear it and you need to see it. You know, the best thing about those um, crash course videos, other than them being really well done, is they offer some animations uh, and some example, right? Really bring it to life because they're what the, what's called thought experiments in ethics, right? Is we're thinking about the ethics of things um, and we can't really test on people, right? So one question is, uh, you know, is, uh, and you see it here, is on uh, uh, the utilitarianism here, right? Well, would you sacrifice one person to save five? A classic utilitarian question is, uh, you, you know, most people agree killing is wrong, but if you can kill one person and save five, would you do it? Now, we can't actually do that experiment for obvious reasons. However, we could do a thought experiment on, and you could do it with cartoons and stuff like that. So uh, that's a really uh, helpful for this. And even like concepts like the experience machine, this really helps... Uh, you know, visualize it. So wherever you see this in any of the texts, any of these links like that, um, you know, sometimes I repeat them, right? So utilitarianism comes up several times, uh, the topic of it. So here, if you, you know, you get down, uh, you're reading through chapter one, you get to the fourth section, you're like, okay, again, what does utilitarianism mean? You can watch the video there uh, and go there. And so I have those in every, uh, just about every chapter, at least in uh, chapters one through six, because that's where we get into the uh, meat of all this, right? The uh, real ethics uh, and ethical schools. So you can, uh, again, uh, I highly, highly suggest you do that, right? And check out these videos. They are required. Again, they'll be listed in Blackboard, uh, but I also put them here and inserted them into this document, uh, this text, uh, so that you can go back and forth. So when you have this open, you can easily click and view the videos, things like that. Uh, other things in the text, uh, there's also a glossary at the end. Um, and these are really just uh, stuff here. This isn't any different than what's in the text. Um, but if you you know you come across a topic or a word that you, you can't really remember, just uh, come down to the glossary. But all of these are described and um, 
uh, explained within the textbook like that. So uh, again, so this is the best way to navigate it is use uh, uh, the uh, view navigation pane here and you can just jump around and uh, read as you go, uh, read these parts. Um, and again, don't forget about the uh, uh, links uh, out to uh, required videos and things like that. Um, they're all there. So there's also learning objectives, um, key terms, um, and these key terms are also things that end up in the uh, glossary there. Um, and where the uh, key terms have a uh, video to go with them, uh, um, I also included that there. But again, you'll see these throughout the text. Um, the experience machine uh, is one that, again, I keep sticking here in uh, utilitarianism. Um, let's go to Aquinas's natural law, um, which we'll look at later. Uh, I also include, right, so divine command theory, uh, anything like that, anything that's a big natural law theory. Um, there are really good TED Ed videos, uh, others that I included. Um, and again, you'll see they're there. So, um, yeah, but take some time in this first week, uh, cause that's, you know, from, uh, the class starts on the 27th Wednesday, uh, until the end of Sunday, the 31st, uh, of October, your only assignment is, uh, you know, there's two assignments, a blog, introducing yourself in an exam, just getting used to the course, um, you know, figuring out where everything is just, it's really just quizzing you on, uh, uh making sure you know the rules of the course, where everything is rest of the time, uh, really start, uh, looking, uh, through the text. Let me getting used to, uh, using the text and going from there. Uh, again, look around, let me know if you have any questions, um, and we will, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and, uh, yeah, a good, great look, uh, ugh, excuse me, good luck, best of luck in the course. Um, you know, I hope you like it. Uh, this should be an interesting course, uh, really intriguing. I, I'm looking forward to hear what you guys think about this, uh, cause remember that's really what it's about ethics. There's, it's open to interpretation. Uh, and it's, uh, the point is to, uh, talk these out and, uh, go from there. So, but again, take a look at the textbook, get used to it, take a look at the course. Let me know if you have any questions, especially in this first week. All right. Look forward to working with you. Uh, thank you, everybody.